So Massacre at Central High. Um, I have almost nothing to say about the movie itself. However, um, folks at home, uh, should Brad ever hit it big in the world of podcasting, he may have to give me a producer credit or something. Um, because Brad makes liberal use of audio drops on his podcast, the Cinema Speak podcast. <laughs> I, I'm, it's one of the best additions you've made to the program. <laughs> Thank by the you. Way. Um, it, you really do. You're a master at, at timing those and setting them up. Like I, I don't know how, I don't know how you're able to, to spin those plates in your brain to be able to maintain the conversation and cue a lot of practice. In. Clearly, because you're yeah. very very good <laughs> at it. Um, anyway, long story short. Um, Every once in a while when I find myself, like, I don't know, staying up too late or waking up too early or something, I'll just be like, oh, what's some stupid audio I can send to Brad and see if he wants to put on the show at some point. Um, there's a, a couple of drops that I supplied Brad with a long time ago, and it's of a, a young man at a convention yelling, Betrayal! Yeah, yeah. Betrayal! <laughs> Betrayed me! <laughs> um, and that fella, I don't even know if Brad knows who that is. Um, but I do, and that's why it's funny to me. In fact, it makes it funnier that you don't know, um, or if you don't know. <laughs> and you just use the audio because it's funny. Yep. Um, that That is a, I guess, now defunct um, YouTuber uh, slash Blip TV uh, creative personality, uh, Spoonie, or Noah Antweiler. Um, and at one point, uh, one thing that he was doing with his online videos and stuff was uh reviewing shitty movies and one of the shitty movies that he reviewed was massacre at central high and a big reason why he chose this particular shitty movie is that apparently there is a character named spoonie in it so Hmm. he's just like you mean there's an actual character in an actual shitty movie named quote after me well i better fucking talk about it so the only reason I'm aware that this thing exists or what it is is because I used to watch a lot of Spoonie videos back in the day before he lost his goddamn mind. Uh, we miss you, Spoonie. We hope you're doing better. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that was my little tangent about that little shitty movie that I don't think anybody cares about. Well, I mean, just, you know, you know what it sounds like? Uh, somebody stealing Spoonie's name. It kind of sounds like betrayal. Betrayal! <laughs> <laughs> betrayal <laughs> I, had to, I had to throw it on there and now that you brought it up i had to throw it on betrayed me oh. yeah i had no idea the uh had no idea the backstory there so uh first one that i'll t- i will point out here brad and this is actually really fucking funny um to me anyway to me folks shut up <laughs> um uh we have mercenary fighters from the year 1988 from code red and this is directed by Andrew Deutsch, or Deutsch, uh, starring Peter Fonda, uh, and most importantly, though, Reb Brown. Uh, Reb Brown is a legend of uh, schlock cinema. Uh, he, the loud, loudest scream in the West. Uh, big hulking blonde man, played Captain America at one point, always screams, no matter what film and what occasion. Um, and to, to get to the fucking point already... Uh, Mercenary Fighters just so happens to be another film that Spoonie <laughs> reviewed on his Spoonie experiment Spoonie. website way back in the day. So Spoonie strikes again. Um, he, in fact, had a annual event called Rebuary, where uh, in February of each month, he would uh, each year rather, uh, he would review Reb Brown films, and this was one of them. And I actually might buy this fucking film because Reb Brown makes me laugh, and uh, this movie has at least a couple of hilarious moments in it plus it's a schlocky action film that's very clearly ripping off rambo 2 or rambo 3 one of the rambos post first rambo um if it's the right price i might grab this one 